Yo, 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 this here. Yo, we are currently on the tow truck right now. Yo, we are towed on the truck. You want the police here? You want? You want to get out? Wait, 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 wait. What happens to your car when it gets towed? Have you ever parked your car in a towway zone thinking, I'll only be a couple minutes? Well, a couple minutes is just enough time for a lion to pounce on its prey. And what I mean by that is it's just enough time for that grimy tow truck man to hit a lick on your car. But what really happens when your car gets towed? Do they treat it with care and affection or do they not give too fine about it? Bro, oh, you can't say that here. I said two flying fish. Or do they not give two flying fish about it? Well, today we're gonna find out what really happens when your car gets towed. And on top of that, we are gonna be attempting to break this car out of the impound lot without getting caught. Let's see if we can pull this off. How this is gonna work is later tonight we'll be parking this car in a towaway zone. While it is parked in the towaway zone, me and Ricky will be hiding out in the back, going undercover, literally. We will be waiting until a tow truck comes and tows our car, and we will be documenting each and every step along the way. We have no idea how long this will take or what's gonna happen. So first, we decided to come to Walmart to get supplies. First thing we're getting is a pack of water because we could be in there a couple hours or we could be in there a couple of days. And you already know, we gotta get some snacks. Gonna get hungry in the back of that car. Load it up. Some black blankets, cause we're gonna use these to hide underneath in the trunk of the car. Walkie talkies, these are gonna come in handy later. Now that we have all the supplies, we must wait until nighttime when the tow trucks are most active. Night is upon us and all through the town, the tow trucks were towing to the impound. Little did they know we had a plan. It was time to turn the tables on the tow truck man. It's game time now. Me and Ricky are gonna be in this car the entire time. All while this is happening, our boy DJ Fabuloso will be on the outside, making sure everything goes smoothly. DJ Fabuloso here. My job is to be lookout for tonight to make sure that the boys are not in danger. We also hired a gift away driver and he's very good at what he does but he requested that we don't show his face on camera good luck out there make sure you're right behind us the entire time if anything happens bro something could go crazy wrong for real now all we have to do is find a spot to park this car and make sure that it gets towed it's go time boys here we go, en route to the location. Gotta find a towaway zone that we can get towed in for sure. Got DJ Fab and our getaway driver following behind us. This is a legit operation, and I have a good feeling that something crazy is about to happen tonight. <sighs> That is a sign of what is gonna happen later. That might be the exact tow truck that pulls us over, bro. We're pulling up to the spot that we're gonna be posting up in for the entire night until we get towed. It's right over here, right on the corner. A lot of traffic goes up and down right behind us. So it's just a matter of time before either someone complains or a tow truck comes by and pulls up on us. Are you ready? Ready, bro, let's go. This is where we park the car, and we are guaranteed to get towed because there are tow-away zone signs right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. And this building also has security cameras. There's two right over there. We just saw a police officer in the area that probably made note of our car in the illegal parking zone. So all we have to do is wait now. Dude, we might not even have to wait that long, bro. I feel like we might get towed quick. I think they're on to us. DJ Fabuloso and the getaway driver are located right across the street. They're gonna be monitoring everything that goes down tonight. Yo boys, you ready for this? We have a good spot. We have a perfect vantage point. Dude, dude, another cop. Another cop undercover right there. 
Bro, this place is swarmed with cops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think we're gonna have to wait that long, bro. DJ Fabuloso and the getaway driver have a great vantage point to see us and monitor the whole thing. They're parked right here on this side street and our car is right there. It's just asking to be towed. Never did I think I would be trying to get my car towed, but here we are. Dude, another cop. Bro, that's like three cops in like a minute. All right, boys, see ya. Good luck, boys. Stay safe. Keep an eye out, okay? I got you. We're putting our trust in you, buddy. Always. This is it. Once we enter the vehicle, we will be in there for the rest of the night. Here we go, boys. So let's go. tight up in here and it's gonna get hot because we can't keep the car on because if we keep the car on they'll think someone's in here and then they can't tow it we're in florida we're in all black wearing beanies in a locked car but this is the setup we got going on we got the black out blankets please, please come on oh. please right here That was a close one. But what I was trying to say is these are the blackout blankets that we're gonna be throwing on top of us as soon as we see a tow truck so that they don't know we're in here. Gonna be laying low just like this. Even if they look up in here and try to see if there's anything or anyone up in here, hopefully they won't be able to tell. And they tow us, put us on the back, and take us directly to the impound. We got a couple extra blankets just in case. An extra camera right here. And we also got our walkie-talkies to communicate with the boys in the car right over there. And if anything goes wrong, boom, just call them and say, Yo, boys, we need help. That was a little long, honestly, not gonna lie. We need that response time a little quicker, boys, just in case something happens. All right, well, I'm here, we're ready to go. That's more like it. Roger that, over. Dude, there are so many cops, bro, another cop. Get down, get down. Oh, bro, no way. Are we getting pulled over right now? Oh, bro, this looks bad. Yo, cops are straight at me right now, what should I do? We'll see if he goes to the just stay low. Oh, bro, he made direct eye, he made direct eye contact with me. He's pulling around. He's pulling over. He's pulling in here? Yeah, yeah. Should we go out with your hands up? Huh? Oh, bro. This is not key. This is bad, bro. All right, boys. I don't, I don't, not sure exactly what's happening right now. We have our all black outfits on and it doesn't, it doesn't look good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, man. Bro. Another cop. Undercover. Make this up, bro. This guy just pulled up and asked us if we were okay. We look sketchy to say the least. Dressed in all black in a parking spot we're not allowed to be in and just camping out in the trunk. Yeah, bro. We're definitely suspicious right now. But now that the cops are gone, I think it's time to get back in the car, hunker back down, and wait for that tow truck. All the lights in this entire car are off now. We gotta stay low and we're filming in night vision now. Just in case anyone walks by, anyone sees us. Can't risk having a big light go off in the middle of this car and expose our location. Now we just wait. Tow truck is here. Tow truck is here. Tow truck's right there. Yo, there's already a car on the tow truck though. Oh, another tow truck coming. Yo, another tow truck coming. If there's no truck... Oh. Yo, just went right past. Two tow trucks just passed by us. There was a car on the first one, but there was another one right behind it. No car on it. And they both zoomed right past us. It all happened so quick. I thought that was gonna be it right there. We have been in here for well over an hour. It is getting steaming up in here. Oh man, it's like we're in a sauna, but we gotta wait it out. It's crazy. It's like when you don't wanna get towed, you get towed like that. But we're trying to get towed, and we literally had two tow trucks pass right by us. 
Now it's just a waiting game. We gotta wait, and when it happens, we gotta execute under pressure and make sure we stay silent, because dude, I am trying to break this car out. Hours and hours went by while we patiently waited to get towed, but they never came. We waited until 5 a.m. when we finally decided and try again tomorrow. Day number two of us attempting to hide in the back of our truck while being towed without the tow trucker knowing and then breaking our car out of the tow truck facility. If we can pull this off, all you guys have to subscribe because no one else is doing it like this. No one's coming up with these ideas, risking it all, putting it all on the line, and and doing it real. Right now, we are currently in a new spot in a tow away zone. We have the lookout boys over to the side of us, looking out for that tow truck. Me and Ricky are about to head into the back, set up all the cameras, and wait for the tow truck. All right, the boys are in their new spot. It is day two of attempting to get towed. And yes, we have our getaway driver, but I need you guys to smash that subscribe button right now because he is not cheap. So please, smash that subscribe button. We are currently in the back of the car waiting for the tow truck to arrive. We got the GoPro set up right here. Boom, one in the back, one in the front. And when this tow truck comes, we have one shot, one opportunity to pull this off. We need to start all the cameras, hide underneath the blankets, and we cannot make a noise. Because if we do, and the tow truck drivers realize we're in here, they're not gonna tow the car. So we have one shot to pull this off. Everything has to go perfect. They have to pull up. We have to start everything. This is gonna be insane if we pull this off, boys. I am on a high alert right now because at any moment, a tow truck could pull up and we gotta stay ready. Just, what are you doing right now? Are you swiping on Tinder right now? Dude, I have to get my swipes in, bro. I'm waiting for the tow truck. What else am I supposed to do? You're supposed to be on high alert, bro. They could Dude. come from this way. They could come from this way. They could come from this way. Buddy, we're in a prime location right now. Oh, I'm out of swipes. Buddy's about to buy that premium. Don't, you better not spend your money on that. If you're gonna spend money, spend it on IBP merch, the hottest merch in the game. Go to IBPmerch.com. Man, if you just buy the merch, it'll help you with the ladies, bro. You don't even need a swipe. You just walk around, all the girls come flocking. That, play a clip of the man from the last video. That man couldn't even stay away from you, bro. Old man. If I was wearing it right now, there'd probably be girls surrounding the car right now. You're so right, what was I thinking? Come on, buddy. I'm deleting Tinder. Delete it, come on. I'm gonna delete it right now. Yo. Yo, buddy deleted. I'm about to redownload. <laughs> Yo, Jacob is here. I'm not gonna put it in here. You guys can't see it. It's right there. I gotta get underneath. The tow truck is here. Yo, they can hear us. The tow truck is here right now. We can't really film because we have to hide. They're gonna check the car. Hopefully, DJ back. Yo. Y'all really, gotta move, they watching you on camera, they call the side and you gonna call the cops, say I need to move the cops. Dude, I think we, the cops are getting called. Yo, let's go. Don't you clap. Yo. Yo, what just happened? Bro, the tow truck pulled up so fast. We got underneath. Boys, did you get a good view of what happened? We heard them come up to the car and then they knocked and said, y'all gotta get out. We saw you on camera. Guys, usually after the tow truck leaves, the police is next. We have to leave right now. We gotta get out of here, huh? Let's go, let's go. We gotta get out, we gotta get out. Yo, come on. my phone, bro. Yo, the cops are coming, bro. You'll find your phone. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 for real. Oh my gosh, bro, wipe this window off. It's so hot in here. We got to leave. Let's move. Yo, tote. Oh my gosh, bro. It all happened so fast. Cops right there. Cop with the on. That has to be. That's going right to where we just came from. Everything happened so fast. The tow truck came out of nowhere. We started filming everything, but they might have seen a little bit of movement in the car. It could have jeopardized the whole mission, but we tucked under those sheets in the back, but the tow trucker still came up to the window and said, you guys got to get out of here. The cops are on their way. Really, y'all got to move. They watching you on camera. They called the side. They gonna call the cops. Say, I need to move the cops. We were in there for about two hours. So, gotta try again. And guys, if you look on this window right here, his face, his nose is smeared on the window when he was looking inside. 
Yo, you can see his eyes right there. Boom, boom. And Buddy looking like Squidward with the longest nose. Bro, I don't know how he saw us though, because we were completely, fully, 100% covered underneath those blankets. Bro, look at it. I got it right here, bro. As soon as he's about to pull in, he's pulling in, and you can see the light just go off right here of the vehicle. Bro, but bro. it was in your pocket and it must have gone off. Nick, you had one job, man. Bro, you buddy, no, know. as soon as they pull bro, up, look. Nick accidentally clicks the keys and goes, we're here. Bro. You get yeah, me? but bro, on a lot of modern cars, though, that happens like when you get near it. Like a Tesla, if you walk near it, the bro, lights I'm hearing a lot of this. I needed more of this. Bro, look at this. Look at this scene bro, right here. We've, see, we've seen it. We've seen it, bro. Look, we get it. We get it. We tow get truck it. is literally we pulling it. in. Get it, bro. And look, full beam. You might as well just I'm have I'm downloading. I'm going to download Tinder again. <laughs> we pulled up to the next towing spot. Hopefully, third time is a charm, and we can pull it off right here, right now. Now, we got DJ Fab and our getaway driver posted up across the street. It is currently 12 11 in the middle of the night. We gotta do it right here. We have been trying to do this for so long, but this has gotta be it. The boys are right here across the street. We are the lookout, and uh, let's just hope at this time no mistakes are made. Yo, tow truck is here. Tow truck is here. Tow truck is already here. Oh, I can't get under. Let me get under. Let me get under. There's no way. The boys just got towed. We are in pursuit right now. This is crazy. Yo, we are currently on the tow truck right now. Look at this. This is insane. I have no idea. We are towed. We are towed on the truck. This is actually crazy, bro. We are being towed right now on the tow truck. Do they see us? They might see us. No way. But he sees us. No way. Hi guys. Hi sir. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. You want your car or you want to get out? Is it, it's uh, like call police. Is it either or? No, you gotta get out. You want the police here or you want you wanna get out? Are we gonna get our car? No. Get out. We'll get out, we'll get out, we'll get we'll get out. We have no we have no idea. We were, we were in the car? Sir. No, we fell asleep in the car. Wait, 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 wait. Yo! Let's see if we can get out of No, what? Bro! We should have stayed in the car. We looked up all, oh my, our car's gone. We looked up all the laws before this, and technically if you tow someone while they're in the car, it is considered kidnapping. Bro, what just happened? Where's where's DJ Fab and Medi? My shoes are in there. I almost left my phone in there, but bro just literally kicked us out of our own car and he said, you can either leave right now or I'm calling the cops. We should have waited for the cops. I didn't think he was driving off. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, there's the boys, there's the boys. What just happened? What the heck? You won't even believe, bro. So we're in the back of the car. He comes up. We see him coming up. We start rolling on everything. He attaches it so fast. By the time we saw him, we were moving within like a couple seconds. We're filming him and we're on the move. Nick and I are like, yo, we're all in the clear. We're good to go. Buddy stops in the middle of the road right here. I saw him right there. Right he just stopped, bro. He stopped in the middle of the road. He comes back, starts shining inside. He's like, do you want your car or do you want the cops to come? And I was like, is it either or? He didn't even say anything. He just walks back to his car and we were like, dude, he's definitely calling the cops. So we both get out and as soon as we we both get out, he hops back in his car, goes, bro. But the thing is, bro, one of the GoPros, the GoPro on the front is still recording. I know that for sure. And the one in the back is recording too. So we'll see what happens to our car, bro. Bro, literally, we should have stayed in the back and said, let the cops come because we did our research before. And if you take a car without checking the back, he didn't even check the back, bro. That is illegal. Yeah, he took it fast. That is illegal. Like, I know we're doing this on purpose, but if you're going to play the game, you got to play the game. How they have to, They have to make sure that no one's in the car which is what the first tow truck did and that's why they didn't tow us because they saw us in the back but this guy as soon as he pulled up he latched onto the front and we started moving if he looked and he didn't see us that'd be understandable because we're under sheets and we're trying to hide but buddy didn't even look so how are we getting the car back I, I don't know we have to go to the I don't know where it's being towed we regrouped now we are all in the reconnaissance vehicle and the mission now is to locate our car and still try to get it out for free. How we're gonna do that is first things first, we have to locate the vehicle. So we're gonna call the number on the tow away sign. We're calling right now. Towing and recovery. 
Um, yes, my car just got towed while I was in the back of it, and then I got kicked out by your driver. Okay, so um, I, I don't know what's going on, but you have to call me from a phone number that is registered, because they're calling me. Where, where are you guys located? No, no, you need to call me. No, where are you, where are you guys located? You gotta tell us because you guys just like took our car. Okay, um, for one, you need to call me from a registered phone number. <laughs> yeah, we're calling from a phone number. That's how we're talking to you right now. It's registered. No, you're not calling phone number. This is registered, sir. Uh, where's the location so we can pick up our car? I mean, you're calling me from an unregistered phone number. I can't even see who's calling. What is the purpose of calling from the registered phone number? Because I need to verify who you are and what phone number you're calling from. Make sure your driver verifies that there's someone in the back of the car next time before you tow, buddy. Alright, our getaway driver just found the location. He looked it up on Google. That's why we pay you the big bucks, buddy. Take us there. That's it. That's it right there. That's the tow truck that got us right there. Roll, that's the dude. That's the dude right there. That's the dude that towed us. Yep. Here, roll Nick. Here, here. Where's the front? Yo. Hey. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Driver's license and 162 cash. We're just gonna see if we could pick up our car. All right, we're gonna play that game. Bye. Let me know if you want the car. Well, can you can you talk with us for a second? Because technically, since we we looked it up, you were in the back of the car. Bro, what? What the heck, bro? Bro I'm just walked away and demanded that we pay one sixty two, even though technically he illegally towed us. We attempted to locate our vehicle so that we could hop the fence and break our car out of the impound lot, but it was nowhere to be found. He's not coming out, so we're calling them right now. Won't even give us the time of day to talk or like explain what happened. There is, there is. You ready to pay now? Yeah. 162 cash and a driver's license. Okay, that's perfect. Can we talk for a second though? No. Because I what you guys just did was illegal. What we, what, actually what you did was illegal, because technically... No, it wasn't. Because you guys covered yourself up and you didn't make yourself... No, we didn't. You was in there. We were wide so, open. no. I have pictures. No. You don't have pictures. No, I do. We actually have a video of the All whole right, thing. Good, you didn't even check good, the back. Good, Call the police. All right, I will. Have at it. Because technically what you did All was right. kidnapping. All right. All right, yeah. This guy technically kidnapped us in the back of the car. You, you're going to call the police and get yourself arrested. So That's fine. Keep at it. I'll, I'll wait for them. We're down for this. I'm down for it, too. Okay. You guys are going to pay... I don't think we are, because I don't know. I just want to explain yeah. to you what happened, because we have no I idea. No. Hey, you I don't know, even want to talk, dude? I got photos. I ain't worried about it. That's you don't even want to talk? Fun. We were live. That's why I'm laughing at y'all. Keep, keep it up. That's you can't even have a human conversation, though. Nah. Okay. Y'all ain't human. Y'all Chinese. Oh, we're Chinese? Yeah, y'all alien. And we're not even Chinese, right? So we're not human? So Chinese people aren't human, right? Yeah, uh, alien. Aliens, illegal immigrants. All right, so we got a racist tow truck driver that doesn't check his cars before he tows them. I'm sure you're loving your life right now towing trucks at one in the morning. Bro, bro's, you, bro's just openly racist. Ricky said, why don't we just have a human conversation? And Buddy said, y'all aren't even human. Y'all are Chinese. Y'all ain't human, y'all are Chinese. Y'all aren't even Chinese, y'all are aliens. And I don't even know if he means the alien from outer space or like the aliens that infiltrate the country illegally. Dude, he looks more like an alien than us with that bald head, bro. Come on. For the past 30 minutes, we have been in a stalemate. Tow truck driver has been right <laughs> over there. We have been what over was that? here debating. Wait, 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 what was that laugh though, buddy? It's been right. <laughs> I, that's the laugh of an alien. Bro. Oh, uh, a yeah. Chinese alien actually. Hoi, 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 hoi. Me and Ricky have been debating what to do next. Do we pay him? Do we call the cops? But well, we decided it would be best if we didn't call the cops because we don't want buddy to get arrested for kidnapping because that's technically the charges and you know you hate to see that he might even get deported back to space yeah. where he's from since he's an alien so and he said I have all the pictures you guys were hiding under there first off buddy if you knew we were in there why didn't you just tell us to get out in the first place after a long deliberation we have decided to pay because we don't want to see that man go to jail you know he's got a lot of, he's got important jobs to do he's got to tow all these cars out here cops come here it's a big hut He's on the phone. I don't know who he's talking to at this time. Hello? So we're ready. We were ready to pay. Oh. Chinese boy has money now. Um, unfortunately, we're going to uh, need you to go ahead and call the cops. We have 166. You don't want our money anymore? Our dad, our dad just came and he has money. Here's another one of your tow trucks coming in. We're going to need you to call the police, sir. 
We tried to reason with the tow truck drivers, but they couldn't understand our Chinese. So we brought in our Chinese translator, DJ Fabuloso, but they weren't having it, and they insisted on calling the cops, and they actually came. The tow truck drivers actually ended up calling the cops. The cops just pulled up, and right now, all we're trying to do is get our car back, call it a night, but they're trying to hold our car hostage right now. They're talking to the tow truck people right now, and then after, they're gonna talk to us, try to keep it separate and civil, because you guys heard what he was saying earlier. He was calling us Chinese boys, aliens. He was saying he was gonna beat our cheeks, and he's so big. Buddy, the only thing big on this guy was his belly. Y'all got the I'm, I'm the only one that has one. You're the only one that has one? Yeah. We were just rolling because we filmed like our whole entire life. I, I think they were upset because we were We were filming a, like a whole different thing. We, we didn't know well, what was happening. I mean, you get two stories, right? So okay, yeah, this okay. one I just got to do. Cheater guys, just take our do money. Do documentation. Yeah, he's going to take your money yes, and yeah, give you your money. car back. Thanks, Mom. Fab is going over there to settle the beef with them. I know that they're mad. They wanted to see us walk away in one of those. I know what he did. But he wanted to see two Chinese boys end up in the back of one of these. It's looking good for the boys right now. It's looking good. It's looking like we are gonna be paying the fee, but I think we are gonna be getting the car back tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting it back. It's a concern. I'm trying to look on Bud's face. He didn't want to do it. Can you grab it? Yeah, this one. Thank you, sir. No problem. Have a good night, sir. Back in the car for the first time since we got a towed. Buddy right here is cheese, bro. Bud is big mad. He thought we were getting arrested tonight. Not tonight, bud. Like that, we're back. Baby. Welcome back, sir. See you guys. Thank you. You too. We'll see all boys on the other side. Thank you. And the boys live to fight another day. Let's go, baby. We pulled that off. I definitely thought someone was going to jail. That was absolutely insane. Shout out to DJ Fab and our boy, Medi, for coming through. He wanted to keep his name disclosed, but at the end, there was no hiding it. The cops saw the truth. The boys prevailed. And the Chinese boys prevail to fight another day. Thanks so much for watching, guys! If you guys want to see us attempt this again and try to make it all the way into the towing lot, make sure you're subscribed right now. And if you want to cop the hottest merch in the game, go to ivpmerch.com. We love you guys, and until next time, yee! Should we drop Chinese Boys Productions merch? Hall of Fame on them, go damn on them, take shots in the main minute. The boys are in. Gotta have some snacks up in the back of the car. You know it's gonna be getting hungry. And I'm back there with this. It's, it's gonna it's be gonna getting be. hungry. You know, that's me. I'm it. I go by it's and they. It's considered kidnapping if you're in the back of the car. My phone's in there. Oh, my phone's in my hand. But he's still swiping on Tinder. New location, but he has more matches over here. Uh, speaking of matches, don't light a match on her either one of our cheeks. Bro. Bro! But... Oh. Yo, we might have to postpone this.